This is our house. No one's coming here and taking away our manhood. Millions of American men experience their only true moments of glory through the game of high school football. But what happened to these men 15 or 20 years later? Well, the facts are that 98% of all men that played football in high school said goodbye to the game forever at the tender age of 18. I still have dreams about it, literally have dreams of playing ball. We're getting older, but we're still strong, and I think we can still go out and play just as hard as we could when we were younger. If I had the chance to play one last game, I'd probably give up 10 years of my life. But men like this never got another shot at glory. Until now. After sitting on the couch for more than 20 years, these guys have practically no time to ready themselves for the biggest game of their lives. And they don't even know who they're going to play. The National Women's Football Association is a group of women playing tackle football from the East Coast to the West Coast. When I'm in the game, I'm the animal. Our job is just to show that we as women know the game of football and we can execute it. I have to be a man to prove that women can play football. With only 24 hours left before kickoff, the men finally find out who they're about to play. I gotta come clean. It's not the type of game that you think. The opponents that you're gonna play, you guys are gonna meet them in a second. And there's a lot riding on this. Gentlemen, we are the ladies of the National Women's Football Association, your opponents in the gender bowl. <laughs> ladies, let's school these men. Whose house? Our house! Whose house? Our house! Whose house? Our house! Whose house? Our house! I'm pissed off, all right? I'm legitimately pissed off. I saw a few of them look at you guys and start laughing. They call me fat. Big boy, 77. What's all this? I was shocked at first, but I mean, hey, if they want to strap them on and go out there and play with us, then hey, we'll bring it. Y'all look broke down. Broke down. If we have to pound on these old guys just to prove a point, we are definitely ready to do that. We are not going to lose this game. Very first play, we got to send a message. Initially, that when they saw us, that they felt like it's going to be walking apart. It's not. We're not going to lose, period. period. But I definitely don't want to lose any girls. That's right. I'm going to be able to sleep at night, all right? I really, really want to win this game because I believe that will open the eyes of many Americans. I will take myself up until I have to get carried off the field before we lose to a bunch of women in front of national TV. I'm ready to play right now. Let's play this game. Let's do it. Ladies, this is our chance to make a difference for women in sports. This is our fight for the right to play and to be taken seriously. Women do not belong in a football game with us. What were we called? Bull, fat, old, gray. I want you to remember that. Are you prepared to make history? <laughs> The ladies have tied the score. Think about that, Mama! It's been a tremendous night here at the historic Los Angeles Coliseum. The first time ever the men and women get together on the gridiron, but it certainly doesn't come without controversy. Now, did we have it all tonight? Last second heroic scoring on the last play of the game. Now, I want to do another one of these. Yeah. Unbelievable. This I've never seen a better football game in this play. Gender Bowl. Two teams, one game, coming soon.